an Apeula shrimp, the most interesting shrimp in the world. In this video, I will be building them a self-sustaining bowl. That's right, this setup requires no filter, no heater, and no water changes. There's only one problem. I've gold everywhere, but I can't find these shrimp. It turns out they only exist in Hawaii, and to get them to my studio, they need to travel to Chicago in the dead of winter. I finally found a Hawaiian seller, and they're due to arrive in just a few days. We need to get moving. The next day, the shrimp arrived, but we have a huge problem. There's water on the box, and it looks like it's been leaking. After further inspection, it looks like the bag is okay, but we have to move quickly. The water in the bag is much saltier than the quarantine tank. These shrimp are very sensitive to changes in water conditions. Let's drip acclimate the shrimp over the course of a few hours to gently introduce them to their new tank. I wanted to do something really special for these shrimp, so I ordered over $200 of rare mackerel algae for them. This algae will help feed the shrimp and stabilize the ecosystem. I don't typically use aragonite sand since I usually build freshwater fish tanks, but luckily I had some on hand for when I set up my seahorse tank. Once the sand is evenly spread across the bottom, we can add a few rocks. This is dried reef rock. The porous surface traps beneficial bacteria, which is great for our shrimp. But we have a problem. This rock isn't cycled yet. This means it doesn't have the beneficial bacteria our shrimp need. The only way to develop this is over time. These pieces of macroalgae are so beautiful. This is really just fancy, expensive seaweed, but it's really colorful and great for bowls like this. These are mangroves. They're rare to find in local fish shops, and it took me forever to source these little guys. We're almost ready to fill up the tank, but we have another problem. We need salt water. I called my local fish shop, but they only had a few gallons on hand. Thankfully, we can make our own. All we need is marine salt and RO water. So easy. Let's mix the two until the water is clear. Now we're ready to fill it up. Be sure your water isn't hitting the sand directly. Oh no, our water is cloudy. Let's drain the tank and start again. This is tedious, but will definitely be worth it. Our shrimp can't live in this cloudy mess. This is looking much better already. Patience goes a long way in aquascaping. Everything is looking great and we're finally ready to add our shrimp into their new home. Don't forget, these little guys are sensitive, so we'll need to drip acclimate them to minimize the shift in their environment. Look, here they go. These super shrimp can survive in a closed jar for up to 20 years. They don't need food or water, just sunlight. NASA wonders, could humans live like this on Mars? They're scurrying around the bowl and exploring their new home. They're so cute. The effort in getting them here was all worth it. Thanks for watching.